let me tell you something. Participatory documentaries are the greatest documentaries in the world. Well, maybe not. They're the style of documentary I'll be emulating in my upcoming documentary project. There are several different types of documentary. Experimental, expositionary, recreational, observational, you name them. But participatory documentaries are what interest me the most. Participatory documentaries are a common type of documentary in which the filmmaker acts as the presenter and actively participates and actively interferes with the narrative. This type of documentary helps to build a close relationship between the subject and the filmmaker, which allows for more raw insight into their perspectives. These documentaries will typically follow the subject around for an extended amount of time, allowing for more spontaneous events to be captured. These factors combined allow access to better understanding of the subject. Conversely, this style could often lead to problems of bias, as questions asked by the filmmaker guide the audience's thoughts. The filmmaker's style of presenting could also make a subject feel uncomfortable in certain situations. Let me show you an example. Here's a participatory documentary I made about my good friend, Jacob Flynn. Do you not like your family? Nah, they're greedy. They never share. I'm not sure I can include this. <laughs> Jayco Flynn is the owner of Media Corp and one of the most powerful businessmen in Midwest America. I went to meet him when he was hanging out on a rooftop. Jake, I couldn't be more nervous, honestly. He's a very renowned businessman, and I'm, you know, kind of nervous. Jake! Hello. How's it going? It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. How's it going? So, Jake, what's it like having the smallest penis in the world? Well, you know, sometimes if you're kind of ostracized. What do women think of it? Uh, you know, I, I think they find it a little bit annoying, like men. But, you know. Does, does anyone say it's impressive? No, normally when I do it, like I do the like, they normally like say something like "fuck you" or they like kick yeah, me. Yeah, no. Um, and does it make peeing harder? Uh, not really. So Jake, tell me about Media Corp. Well, Media Corporation is a diverse and innovative and brand new company that specialises in news, entertainment, films, TV shows. It's the owner of Bob and Mike, The Unethicals. Yeah. Killing Steve and, so and take one ownership in, of all these properties. Well, I you know I, I cut out all empathy for other people. Interesting. Would you recommend others do the same? Well, yeah, because once you lose empathy, you don't need to. Don't need to. Like it's just easier. Meeting Jake O'Flynn changed my life. It changed me as a person. It changed every fibre of my being, and I'll never forget it. What a scumbag. While of course a rather silly example, my short documentary displayed several key techniques used in participatory documentaries, such as voiceover, narration, cutaways, and the basic narrative that tells the story of a journey, bookended by the filmmaker's thoughts. However, when making these documentaries, there are several more things to keep in mind. As a filmmaker, you should allow your style and personality to guide the documentary, whilst letting individual emotions control each scene to help the audience empathise with the subject. You should approach the documentary's creation more similarly to a regular film's creation, with narrative and plot coming first, and remember to make sure your topic isn't already played out. And of course, always remember, sound is key. Sound is much more important than visuals when making a participatory documentary. As you can see, participatory documentaries are... Uh, and now we're going to be talking to Percy Manthe about his days in the Iraq War. What, what are you doing? We're making a documentary to find out exactly who you are. Yeah, Percy. Who are you? Can we do another take? Why's the camera there now? The director didn't tell me he's going to the camera. Tell us who you are. Tell us about your days in Korea. Tell us about the tell LRA. Us. Tell us. Tell us what you've done. <laughs> Louis Theroux's documentaries. <laughs> They're great! Louis Theroux is the most well-known participatory documentary filmmaker. Known for his relaxed, goofy, yet inquisitive personality, his willingness to try anything, and most importantly, his charismatic ability to easily befriend any of his subjects, causing them to lower their defences and enhance the documentary. 
My personal favourite Louis Theroux piece is Louis and the Nazis, a daring film in which Louis attempts to understand neo-Nazis in America, despite his Jewish heritage. If this were any other form of documentary, he would have not been able to get the results he did. Overall, I hope you learned something interesting about participatory documentaries. They're a great form of documentary, and I love them. I'm going to be doing them on my documentary projects. And yeah, we had some fun, we had some laughs, we had some good times. I think I'm going to die soon, I'm going to bleed out. But it's cool. Thanks for watching.